This is Andy Peroff, Boxing Social in association with Betfred and for the first time this year I'm delighted to be by David Diamante here in Miami. David, how are you doing? Happy New Year first of all, I know we're a month in but Happy New Year. Thank you so much man, it's great to be here in Miami. I'm really excited for this new year, I needed that little break we had, it was an incredible 2019. I mean you couldn't have even dreamed it up but we did it and uh, we capped it off wonderfully and now here we are in 2020, I'm like primed, I'm ready to go. Um, it's a great fight card to kick it off. Super Bowl weekend, I don't know if you guys in the UK know, but obviously Super Bowl is kind of a big deal over here. Um, and this is a big fight card, like 11 fights, four titles, three world titles, got the YouTube fight. It's fun, man. It's a little something for everyone on here and uh, happy to be here. Great weather. So, you know, next week we're in the Steel City. We're in Sheffield, right? So, but, uh, but right now we're in Miami, so I'm soaking it in. How do you find the traveling? Obviously, since you've joined Matt Dream, you've been here, there, and everywhere. We see you in a, a different country basically every week. How do you? How does it affect you? How are you finding it? No, I mean I, I travel a lot anyway. So anyone that knows me from before, even the zone stuff, I was traveling. And if I'm not traveling for boxing, I travel for myself. So you know, I like to travel. So it's it's what I'm used to. England, your favorite country? Is England your favorite country? Well, America is my favorite uh, country because yeah. it's my home. But I do love the UK, yeah, very much so. Obviously, just away from that. Let's get onto the card. What should we expect tomorrow night? We've got another YouTube fight, which is kind of stealing the headlines, as it were. What's your thoughts on that? Jake Paul versus Anissa Gibb. Well, first of all, like you said, you were talking about the UK. Can we just can we go down to the socks for a second, so I can so I can just show you here my love for the UK. You see the Union Jack on the bottom of the socks. So they, they, there's love there, all right? And even you know we got it on the inside here. So we we, we got we got the UK love, okay? But speaking of the Jake Paul, the, the, the Gibb fight, I mean, that's a, that's a U.S.-U.K. Uh, matchup right there. I have to be honest, you know, I don't know a ton about these guys as far as fighters, being fighters. I, obviously, I did. Uh, uh, we were there for the, the Logan Paul um, uh, KSI fight, which was great. Um, you know, this is what I think. I think it's great. It's great that there are new fans coming to the sport. And the fact that these guys are getting in there, I mean, they're gonna mix it up, man. And you see what, what Logan and uh, KSI did. They mixed it up hard, so you can't knock these guys, man. Their skill might not be up here, but their hearts are. So, hey, more power to them, man. I think it's gonna be fun. What'd you make of Jake Paul bringing in Sugar Shane Mosley? I mean, dude, he's a, he's a multi-time, multi-division. Uh, he's on the Hall of Fame. Uh, he's getting into the Hall of Fame finally, which is great. I mean, it can't do anything but help. Although sometimes a great fighter doesn't make a great trainer. Sometimes a great fighter doesn't make a great trainer. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I guess we're going to find out. Vidal Riley, he's got the experience in this uh, whole YouTube game. So we'll see with that. And then some fights which have kind of gone under the radar a bit. De uh, Roman versus Akhmad Akhmadeliev. What are your thoughts on that one? Everybody's expecting a banger there. I don't, think it, I don't think it can't be a great fight. I mean, this fight was supposed to happen uh, last year. I was chomping at the bit for this fight to happen. And then Danny got injured. Now he's back. I, I didn't... I am really surprised they took this fight. He's the number one contender. He's, he's ranked number one by the WBA. It's a great fight, man. I've been doing MJ's fight since he turned pro. He's an Olympian from Uzbekistan, from Namangan. The guy can fight. Him and Shakram Giyasav were with World of Boxing. When those guys came here, they were just right out the box looking great. Training with Joel and Anthony Diaz out in Indio, California. They think they have a winner. Um, it's going to be a great fight. Danny Roman, obviously an incredible fighter. We've seen him in one of the fights of the year last year against TJ Doheny in, uh, at the Forum. So he, he's the real deal, man. He's a unified champ. This is a great fight, man. This, this is, if, you know, if you don't know these guys, you got to tune in. You want to see this fight. Tevin Farmer versus Jojo Diaz. Again, a brilliant fight. What are your thoughts on it, David? It's a mouthwatering fight. Listen, Tevin Farmer, man, so tough from Philadelphia. Okay, he doesn't have a big pop, but he's so, so skilled. And he's got a, he's got a lot, of, he can talk. You know, and Jojo Diaz doesn't like it. They don't like each other. Diaz an Olympian. Diaz uh, from California, um, once beaten against Gary Russell. Uh, third time going for a world title. Man, he wants it. He's hungry. He's got pedigree. He's got skill. He's got speed. He's got power. It's going to be a great fight. I just, I just can't wait. I mean, it's a. T this is. This just shows how tough Tevin Farmer is to take this fight and not even. He's not even worried about it. He just. He knows. In his mind, he knows he's a level above Jojo Diaz, which is really saying something. This is all. These guys are all world caliber, caliber fighters. Great fight. Love that fight. Tevin Farmer said to me the other day, he can imagine having maybe two more fights at Super Feather before moving up to lightweight. How do you think he would fare at lightweight against, obviously, Vasyl Lomachenko holding most of the belts, Teofimo Lopez holding the other, and Javonta Davis, a name that's been linked as well? I think he's a tough ass for anyone because of his, because of his skill. Um, that doesn't mean I don't think he can, can't be beat. 
I'm not saying he's invincible. Um, he doesn't have a ton of power anyway, even at, at where he is now. So to move up to lightweight, it's not really going to hurt him so much because his whole game plan really is just to box. So, you know, I think he could do fine there. Um, but we'll see. First, he's got to get through Diaz. And then obviously the headline fight, Demetrius Andrade versus Luke Keeler. Demetrius a big favorite, but is that kind of looking past the challenge of Luke Keeler? What should we expect from Luke tomorrow night? Again, there's levels to it. It's really hard to go against Demetrius Andrade. I believe he's pound for pound one of the best in the world right now, and especially, definitely at middleweight, and, and everyone's ducking him. You know, all the big names are ducking him, and no one wants to fight him, and I get it. Like, you know, he's hard to hit, and uh, he's just a really talented, talented fighter. So it's going to be a tough ask for Luke Kilo. Luke Kilo's tough. He's come forward. It should be a really fun fight. And we'll see. And the other thing, like, you know, Andre knows that, that people want to see him in kind of a banging fight. So we'll see if maybe, maybe he can exchange some tomorrow. We'll get some, get some good exchanges. That'd be great to see. A lot of people kind of waiting to see what's going to be happening with Canelo. A lot of talks that it's going to be Murata next. But how do you think Demetrius Andrade would fare against Canelo? Hell of a fight, man. I'd love to see it. How do you think he would play out? Do you want me to be honest? I think Demetrius wins. I think Andre wins. I think he outboxes him. Another name, well, another couple names that have been linked with Canelo, Billy Joe Saunders and Callum Smith. How do you think their, their futures will play out? Both of them kind of waiting to see what's going to happen with Canelo. What would be your thoughts if they was to face each other, Billy Joe Saunders and Callum Smith? That's a great fight, man. That, that fight should happen. Um, I, I would love to see that fight. That's a, that's, a, that's a great UK banger, man. Let's see it. And then also just want to get your thoughts on the heavyweight situation. A lot of people waiting to see what's going to happen with Anthony Joshua. It seems to be Kubra Pulev is pretty much certain next. How do you think that one will play out if it's announced? I think Jan Anthony Joshua is kind of hitting on all circuits right now. I think it really hurt him to lose those belts. And uh, two time, now he's back. He's back. He got his belts back in Saudi against Ruiz. It was a great performance. He boxed. He did what he needed to do. And not just did he box, but he actually he stood his ground and he and he and he put some leather on Ruiz. He cut him and uh, and, he, and he made a statement. And, and you could see Ruiz when he would come in. He was more tentative this time because he was feeling those shots. So uh, I like AJ right now. Uh, I think he'd be the favorite over Pulev. Um, and I think there are a lot of great fits for him. Obviously, we have to wait and see what happens with Wilder Fury. That's another great matchup happening. Um, but right now, the heavyweights are on fire. And you're, for you yourself, who would you like to see AJ face, Deontay Wilder or Tyson Fury, if an undisputed fight could be agreed? Come on, man. You want to see it all. That, like, that, you, I want to see all of them. I just want to mix and match them. There's not, it's really like saying, you know, you like strawberry or chocolate. I mean, I like them both. Like, you know, they're, they're all, yeah, vanilla, pistachio, it's all good. I mean, I want them all. I want all these fights, right? I mean, obviously for the UK, Fury, Joshua, just huge. For the world, Wilder, Joshua, huge. They're all huge fights. Um, they should all happen. It's obviously been a couple years now since the, the rumors and the talks about uh, undisputed fights, etc., began. How frustrating has it been for you yourself that we haven't seen something solidified as of yet? It, it, we haven't seen which fight? I haven't seen like an undisputed fight solidified as of yet. We've seen we've we've seen those fights, but I mean Usyk did it, cruiserweight. I mean For between sure. like AJ and uh, oh, Dante Wilder. It's it's gonna happen, man. You know, it's like it's like it's like a you know, you don't take the 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 souffle out of the oven before it's time. It's gotta, you know, you gotta the stew's gotta simmer. It's happening, man. It's, it'll happen. There's the, but this is the thing. Like you see that fight with Otto Wallen. Like anything can happen. Right? Anything could happen. You see what happens with Spence and Terrence Crawford. Spence, got, thank God he's okay from that car accident, but anything could happen. We don't know. So, so you got to make these, you know, it's great to like let it brew, but at some point you got to have these fights. I just want to give a shout out also on this card, the Angulo Anthony Sims Jr. fight. I think it's a really good fight, and this is really a do or die fight for Anthony Sims Jr. You know, the magician looks great. He looks like he's got all the goods, but we're going to find out, I think, Thursday night if he really does. So that's, that's a great fight on the card. It's his first time going for a title, and uh, Angulo's uh, not joking around. So. So it's a great fight. There's a lot of expectation around Anthony Sims Jr. Now you mentioned him, obviously cousins of Mayweather Jr. There was a lot of hype around him when he was going to announce who he wanted to sign with and he was going to train with, etc. Just how good is Anthony Sims Jr. in your opinion? Well, this is the thing. Like, there's a lot of sizzle. Does he have steak? Right. So we're going to find out Thursday. Nobody knows till you get hit in the mouth. What, what these guys are going to do. So we're going to find out because Angulo is going to test him. So there's a lot of sizzle. There's a lot of sizzle. He looks great. It's sizzling. 
The steak smells good, but we got to take a bite and see if it's really, is he the real deal? Is there steak there? David, no one can beat your analogies, they're brilliant. <laughs> but I appreciate your time. Yeah, I'm sure I'll you. catch up with you tomorrow night. Yep. What would you like to say to everybody before I let you go? The fight starts now! <laughs> brilliant, thank you, right. David. Appreciate it, guys. Yeah.